So it's time to send out a newsletter and you're about to go and do that in Zoho Campaigns, which is an email marketing tool, part of Zoho One. So in this video, I'm gonna talk through how to use the campaign designer so that you can create amazing templates and send them out to your audience. Okay, so I'm in Zoho Campaigns here and I'm gonna create a new campaign. And now we've got a few options here. It wants us to create based off a template or regular email, or we can do an A-B test, a couple of other options here, but we're just going to do the regular email. I'm create new. We'll give it a name. Topics are a way to allow customers or subscribers to be able to opt out of a particular type of email. For example, they might want the monthly email, but not the weekly email. This just gives them a way to be able to break down exactly what they, what they want to see and what they don't want to see. So I'm just going to select marketing for this. You're going to have to add a subject who the campaign is being sent from, and then also to your recipients or list. Now it could be everybody, or it could be a segmented list. We're going to jump into the content. Now we've got a couple of options here. So we've got save template pre-designed or basic templates. Now I would recommend creating your own template and then saving them. That way you can have it branded and then it only takes you two seconds to grab it. Now I would also recommend having different types. So you might have one is like an announcement, another one which might be a summary newsletter has a few components to it. And then another one which might be presenting like a podcast or a video or, or something like that. Today we're just gonna jump into the basic templates. So basic templates give you a bit of an outline. I sort of mentioned before, that might be your announcement. This one, your podcast podcast where you've got the image or the video or something that you're presenting and then a button at the bottom and then your summary newsletters things where you've got like some images some other snippets of content and ideally you just want to have enough in the email to grab attention and then they're going to click the read more or watch the video or something like that so today we're just going to grab this template so we can see we've got a few templated sections in here so what we can do is go into the logo and then you would just change it there obviously we can change the size the alignment so so whether we want it central or right aligned. And I would give them a URL to click so that when they click the logo that they'll end up back on your website. I wanna share with you a concept of brand entanglement. Any kind of click, any kind of opportunity where someone is engaging in your content, you want to bounce them around all your other bits of content. So they might be on your YouTube, they might be on your Facebook, they might then go into your website or something like that. But they are starting to see you from a number of angles and starting to understand who you are. Every interaction should now naturally follow some other type of engagement. So they get your email, they click book a meeting, they end up back on your website, which has a thank you page, which then has a pop-up to join the mailing list or do something else. You just wanna keep them engaged and doing the next thing. So now we wanna have a play with the image. I'm just gonna click on here. Now at the moment it is an image, but we could change it out. So I just wanna go to the gear icon and then I'm just gonna delete it. Once I've deleted it, I'm gonna come over to the side section. I'm just gonna select video and then I'm going to grab this element and then I'm gonna hover over until I see that line. Let's put it above the hello. and. And then in the video name, I can put in my URL. In this case, I'm going to put in my YouTube video. And I'm going to say this is a e-commerce tutorial. Feel free to go over and check that video out if you like. And as you can see, it does not like special characters or spaces. And this video name is really just for the back end. So we're going to have to change that to a small e. We have to change this to a t. Now, if you like, you can put an underscore in if you want to visually see two separate words. Hit next. And now we can see the video in here it does look a little bit stretched. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad if I want to play with it anymore I can go over to the left and we can change the fit or whether we want it small medium original those sorts of things so then we might be able to say all right well I want that central you'll notice that it did default there even though it was displaying that it was central so you might just have to fiddle around there and at the moment we don't have any kind of like border or anything but that's fine so next I'm gonna go down here now with the text I do like the ability to personalize the information so what I'm gonna do is now that I've selected this I've added a space but now I'm going to go up here to merge tags and then in merge tags I can select some information so I've, at the moment I've got the contact first name if I wanted to grab any other details I might look for their title job title mobile any kind of thing that you integrate from CRM and you bring that information through from CRM but here I'm just going to go contact first name so hello contact first name now if they don't have a first name in the system or if you don't have it saved for whatever reason it will just add an empty value or a space 
space. So hello space comma, and that's it. Then you get to go in and customize the content. In here, we can do things like change the font, change the size, all your standard little functions around here. Don't forget you can add images in line. You can add a link. So if I go here and then I add a link and then I'm gonna add that link as either a URL, an email, an anchor. If I click it, it's gonna take me to another section uh, and then a phone number. In this case, I'm just gonna whack my YouTube video link there. Now I could personalize it with contact merge fields. Now this is where I get to choose whether it's gonna open in the same window or in a new window. I personally prefer going to a new window because it keeps this one open. It just takes up a little bit more real estate in their browser. So then we've got title, that's the word that is being used as the merge tag. Then we come down here, we've got our button, pretty self-explanatory. I can click on that, I can give it a title. We'll say watch now. And again, I'm gonna put my URL. And again, I want that opening in a new window. Now this enable RTL format, which really just means right to left. So it's only for Arabic and Hebrew. So if you're doing other languages, then you've got the option of that. So I'm gonna hit done. Actually, before I do, I'm gonna go over here to design. And then I've got the ability to change, you know, the button color. Maybe I want it a little bit more on my branding. Then down here, I get the option of adding all of my Facebook channels, etc. So I'm gonna select YouTube and then I'm gonna highlight this. And then I've got another little app which allows me to short code this. So there we go. We've got our Relevate YouTube channel ID. We've got a design. Now I can change how I want them to appear, whether I want them, if I've got a black background, I can change them to white. I can change them to just their main color pops or grayed out or black or normal. And then your sizing obviously as well. And then if you want to do some text color changes, let's go over here, make it gray. That's the, the word underneath here. All of those little bits and pieces and then the padding so you can space them out a bit, etc. All right, so let's go to icon only and then I'm going to shrink it down. Now the last bit down here is compulsory. You do need to have some details on the bottom and no, you cannot remove the unsubscribe list. But what you do see here, would you like to change how often you receive emails? Please update your preferences or unsubscribe. Now this is where I was talking about with topics. So preferences allow someone to remove themselves from a particular topic, but not from your entire list. So if you're an e-commerce brand and you are doing daily, weekly, fortnightly and monthly emails, they can opt out of the daily if it's too many and then just keep the rest. That's very useful for keeping someone on your list in general. Okay, so I'm back on the main editing area and we could just have a look at some of these components that we can add in. So we've got text, image, socials, columns, buttons, all sorts of stuff, box text, tables, HTML, etc. So if you're gonna embed a booking link or your calendar or something like that, you might use HTML or ICS is kind of like if you've already got an event and you're sharing the file, they download and save it and it'll end up in the calendar. Uh, attachment, pretty self-explanatory. The next thing I wanna cover is if I go into layouts, this is again allowing me to choose the structure of the page. At the moment, it's more like one of these where we've got that header component image, some text. If I click on that one, that's gonna add a component in there, which I can then move around, etc. So I am just going to delete that one. Now, sometimes people don't like this gray section and they want the email to appear a little bit more consistent. So if you go into design, you've got this section here, which is your inner color. So that's the, the white background. And if you wanted to make it black, then you absolutely could. Obviously you'd have to change all your text to the opposite color. And then if we go to the outer theme, we can pick a design. So we can give it some triangles or some squiggles, some blue hashes, or I'll just go back to stock standard none. At the moment, it is displaying as quite white. If we have a look at this outer color, it is the same as the, the inner color, but just a moment ago, it was completely gray. So I could change the outer color and have it hot pink, or I can have it orange, or I can have it gray or completely black. Or if I want to put it on brand, I can do that as well. Personally, I like to keep it that standard gray or white because I want the focus to be on the email and not have some over the top sort of thing in the background. Unless of course it's Christmas time, then hey, let's go crazy. Okay, we can also change the template width. So let's just say we want it to go to 800 and that's just gonna make the whole area a lot wider. So in this case, I can probably go back here and make that one fit. And then that makes that whole video bigger. Obviously it's made the logo bigger, but you could probably change that down to small uh, and then we're back to how we were. I do like this and it takes up more real estate on the screen. You just gotta be careful. You can see that some of this is starting to blur a little because the quality of the image has rendered down in this format. If you're finding this useful, please give us a subscribe, a like, and let us know what you think in the comments. So I did mention before that you wanna save some templates so you can quickly use them again. I've created this one to be 
like a video announcement. So it's got the video, it's got a little bit of text, and then it's got a button for watch now. And it's got all of the design the way I like it. And I can swap out my logo. And now all that's left to do is to save it as a template. I come up here and I click on the dots and you see this save to library button. Once I click on that one, that's now saved as a template. I just have to give it a name, video email template. So next time I want to create an email template, I just go to create email campaign, regular email, give it a name, select the topic, save, create content, saved templates, and here is my video template. And then when I update my latest video, all I have to do is click on the image, edit, change the video, update the text, change the button, click proceed, and once I've added a title, my recipients, etc., then I can simply send the email. So you should definitely watch this next video.